You see, I told you that vegan corn dogs existed, but no, no one wanted to believe me. Just look for yourself. Jake was eating a vegan corn dog. Jake is going vegan. And if Jake could be happy about eating a vegan corn dog, then so can you. Just look how happy he was. So, just remember, try the vegan corn dog. If he can do it, then so can you. We're up here on the tree. All right, save the whales. If you want to save the whales, you must be vegan. You're not doing the whales any good by eating meat. You must go vegan. And look at all the makeup products that are being made from whales. How dare they? Eat the plants instead. That's much better for you. You can't sit there and just claim to be saving the whales if you haven't. That's why you must be vegan. Going vegan, that means you're using less products that involve whales. And you're not even eating them, see? You're saving them by not eating them. Frank and the Sea Chicken came back because he wanted shrimp for dinner. I said, not today, Franklin. Boop. Is Franklin vegan yet? You should do your absolute best to make sure Franklin is vegan. Give him bird seed. My pet buzzard eats bird seed and vegan pellets. My pet buzzard is vegan. You should do your best to make sure the animals are vegan too. So hiding the shrimp. Yes, it did help the shrimp to not get eaten by Franklin. But at the same time, leave the animals alone. Don't touch them. Leave them alone. Hey, Herbert, you okay, bud? Oh, my gosh. What have you done to poor Herbert? What happened to him? Did you eat Herbert? If you would have gone vegan, this would have never happened. Poor Herbert. Look at him. He's gone. He's been eaten. Why did you do that? Leave the animals alone. They don't want to be eaten. Do you want to be eaten? How would you like if the aliens ate you? You wouldn't like it very much, now would you? Now go vegan.